Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about November 11th being Armistice Day. Uh, it's Veterans Day here in the United States. It's Remembrance Day in the UK and Canada, but it's also Armistice Day in the UK and Canada, New Zealand, Australia. Um, South Africa should observe it, and they, uh, but they haven't for a long time. That was largely due to the National Party as well as the African National Congress. Um, that's a different video for a different day, but South Africa should observe Armistice Day is when the uh, when World War One came to an end, and South Africa did many great things in World War One, and I've talked about it. it's not just wrestling uh, German Southwest Africa from German control, from the Kaiser's control. They did that, but uh, there were also a large number of South Africans that fought in the European theater, and many of them were veterans of helping suppress the Afrikaner Rebellion. Many of the Afrikaners helped suppress the Afrikaner Rebellion, and also fought against uh, wrestled German Southwest Africa from German control. Well, th these people who went on to fight to Europe said they wanted to continue fighting for the Allied cause. They believed in their cause, and they wanted to keep fighting for their uh, brothers in arms. So when they got to Europe, they fought at Delville Wood, which was part of a larger battle called the Battle of the Somme, which was a key battle in World War I. Well, at Delville Wood, the South African Brigade had over two thousand people there, closer to 3,000 actually. And by the end of the battle, only 750 South African soldiers were left standing, but they did not give up their position to German counterattacks. They were the extreme left flank, and they were surrounded by a bunch of trees, but the Germans were firing about 400 rounds a minute, artillery rounds a minute, into those trees. So the forest was basically deforested due to German artillery, but South Africa held their position uh, German counterattacks tried to go through the South Africa's lines to get behind the advancing British and French forces like this, but the South Africans held firm, and they didn't allow the Germans to do that. And South Africa did not did an amazing thing at Delville Wood, and it's largely unknown nowadays, but there's still a huge memorial in France uh, commemorating what the South African soldiers did at Delville Wood. So props to the French soldiers for doing that. And I'm going to make more videos about Delville Wood, um, Delville Wood, um, in my future, uh, in my future videos, particularly because November 11th, which is November 11th now in South Africa, it's in the UK, uh, and, and Australia and New Zealand, uh, and it's their Remembrance Day and Armistice Day. So everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye.